As part of its 50th anniversary range of collectibles, Corgi brings to life the characters from Tales of Midnight from highly acclaimed creator Francis Lee. Beautifully sculpted in resin and superbly crafted in metal, these limited edition figures are a must for any collector. Available now from the selected retail. Spider-Man, the X-Men, while well, the world of comic books is finally changing, with South Asian characters being developed for the first time ever. Desi DNA presents an exclusive insight into the major players who are turning their fantasy into reality. Be prepared to be propelled into the Super League of comic strips and graphic novels. Welcome to the world of Asian superheroes, Hijab Crusaders, and all things spandex. Francis Lee is the mastermind behind the comic sensation Tales of Midnight, and 23-year-old Asya Al-Fasi has just been involved in a bidding war for a Muslim manga graphic novel. Hot on their heels comes Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Comics, who have created modern and mythology-based Indian characters for the rapidly growing South Asian market and beyond. Everyone knows the classic superhero angst-ridden tales of characters trying to find love or fighting off bullies until some freak accident gives them a superpower or ability. Comic strip aficionado Francis Lee has had a very similar journey with his comic book phenomenon, Tales of Midnight. Born in India but raised in the UK, Francis Lee was forever getting into fights with skinheads in the 1970s. After learning martial arts to defend himself, a keen comic reader from day one, Francis went a step further and totally geeked out and opened up his own comic book shop. It's a love story, but it's a love story set against the backdrop of the road from revenge to redemption. It's a love triangle between a woman, a father and her lover, but it doesn't start out that way. It starts out basically with a situation where you have Sarah, who's the strong female character, and Midnight, who's the, uh, our hero. Midnight doesn't know who Sarah is behind her mask. Sarah knows who Midnight is behind her mask, and he, she's blackmailing him into helping her track down and find the guy that she believes is responsible for the death of her mother. The guy they're after is in fact Sarah's father, but he doesn't know he's got a daughter. There's a guy called Raxton, he used to be a former government sanctioned man who's risen through the ranks to the point where he now has direct lines of communication to heads of government, heads of crime cartels, and his call is feared by everyone. For me, comics were always about uh, uh, being storyboards for the little director inside your head. So you'd see a panel, and your imagination would kick in, and it would just transport you to a whole other world. They were my friends when I was growing up. And uh, to this day I feel that comics, uh, or rather sequential art, whether it's a comic or a graphic novel, is still that same portal to transport you away to another world if you've had a bad day at school, or a bad day at work, or a row with your wife, or a row with your husband, whatever it is. And for me, that, that was really the motivation for me wanting to have Tales of Midnight. Having had the comic shop, I know how difficult it is for an independent publisher to maintain distribution for a new title. It's very difficult. There is only really one major distributor for comic books in the world, and that's a company called Diamond Distribution. And they play very simple. At the end of the day, if your book is a big seller from day one, they'll stock it, they'll distribute it, and they'll make it accessible to the masses. If, on the other hand, it's a new title, it's taking its time to get awareness and become established, um, as a distributor, they're not in the business of supporting new independent titles to that level to keep carrying it month in, month out, irrespective of whether or not it's got the sales. And knowing this, I thought, well, I really want to tell the story about these characters that tell um, And I self-published the comic to begin with myself in the shop, and it sold out, which was great. But I knew that even though it sold out in a relatively limited run, it wasn't enough to really um, make a distribution company like Diamond get behind it and keep behind it month after month. So I decided the best thing to do was to try and create an awareness and a demand for it outside of the comic industry through a licensing campaign to try and get companies interested in the characters, uh, either through their imagery or through the story, 
uh, and ask companies if they've been producing products to create brand awareness for the characters and the property ahead of the comic book being published through the comic industry. We've got um, these fantastic things. These are desktop calendars. You can peel the character off and put it on your exercise book, your lunchbox, collectible sketchbooks, limited edition prints, trading cards, greeting cards, and of course the uh, And so Francis created and self-published his comic, Tales of Midnight, which follows the adventures of two crime fighters, Midnight and Sarah, who complete with utility belts and gadgets in sexy blue spandex, take on whoever stands in their way. At the time, it made, it made a big impact on me. For example, with my character Midnight, he'll never kill. End of story. No way. There's, there's no motivation. But well, he's a lawbreaker, though. By night. He fights for justice, and justice in his eyes is not necessarily the laws made by man. I've got to say something about Sarah, though. She's damn sexy. She's I very mean, sexy. I mean, you, you've you have not sort of uh, been shy, have you, in in her figure and so if, if you had any idea how parts. many people have asked me to reduce the size for boobs, it's. Um, <laughs> but no, she's all woman. Has, has, she, has she had a bit of uh, work done? No, absolutely. <laughs> just, just, just good, clean living and healthy exercise and. Uh, but well, I'm now fancying a comic character. Isn't it interesting? It is interesting. Isn't it interesting? <laughs> OK. The good news is that there is a way into the building without you having to go through the guards. The bad news is it's underwater. OK. Switching to sonar mode. I'm going in. I'm not sure for how much longer. The shielding from the piping is interfering with transmission. Midnight? Midnight! on board. Be careful. What's happening? I'm surrounded. 